Hey guys, what's up? What's new? It's your girl Star, and I'm back again with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel for the very first time, please feel welcome. You're awesome, fabulous, and amazing, and I love and appreciate you guys so, so very much. So today we're reacting to AMD that answered it is asking two good questions. Mr. Chairman, as a confirmed atheist, am I allowed to ask two questions, sir? <laughs> Like distinguished people in the long line of the size of discipline or whatever we have to say. Why is it? Is it possible or is it anyway in the Bible or the Quran that Muhammad is the last one? There will be no further disciples or messiahs thereafter. I don't know if I will interpret the, the, this evening's discussion correctly. But that's my assumption. Right. Confirmed atheist. That's what he said. Did he say that? Yeah. Which means he doesn't believe in God. Now he wants to know where in the Quran or the Bible it is said that Muhammad is the last prophet. But look, it is not a book of authority for you. Where does it fit you to know? Where... <laughs> If you believe either of these books as the word of God, then you have a right to ask whether there is anything in the book, because there is something in the book. You see, in the Holy Quran, we are told Wama Muhammadun illa Rasul, that Muhammad is no more than a messenger. Kat khalat min kabli Rusul. It says many were the messengers that passed away before him. And it says Muhammad is a khatumun nabiin. He is the last and seal of the prophets. There shall be no prophets after him. The Quran says so, but now I don't know how that act can act as an authority for you when you say you don't even believe in God. <laughs> I can't see any relevance unless you are playing a game with us to say you are a confirmed atheist. You just want to put us to the test whether we know our books, we know our onions or not. Right, I think we have answered it and you young man, look. We were... All right, the next, next, next one. Let's have the next one. Right, next one, yes. Muhammad and Christ. Looking at the realities of civilization and of people, if the difference was very minute in terms of religious philosophy, and I think you have stated categorically that on all else we agree, why can't Christians and Muslims get together, set aside that minute difference? Rather conf and confuse our little minds. Why confuse our little minds? Why can't they preach that small difference? Take the 90% of compatibility and explore it and teach us the basic ingredient of godliness. Thank you. <laughs> Good job in fishing in troubled waters. You see. This problem you should pose to the Christians because the Muslim has given his hand. Look, he says Jesus is the Christ. The Muslim says that. The Muslim says that he was the Messiah. He says he was born miraculously, that he gave life to the dead by God's permission. He healed those born blind and the lepers. Look, the Muslim is giving his hand of friendship again and again and again. Now this question of yours, this good spirit of yours, you should spend, expend it on your Christian friends. Ask them that, look, since a Muslim is coming forward, why aren't you prepared to give your hand of acceptance and say, look, we also believe that Muhammad is the messenger of God. And you, 1,200 million Christians and 1,000 million Muslims get, can get together on a common platform. Now, do that service for mankind. Ask your Christian friends. <laughs> He handled um, AMD that handled that better than I expected it <laughs> because why would you ask the Muslim these questions when it is related to the Christians 
I think that the devil sent this man to just create some hammock or create some problems with these live debates. Because what does that have to do with anything that is happening or being taught or being um, talked about in these um, live sessions? I don't know. He seems possessed to me, but I love how AMD Dad handled this, handled this situation, right? He did not blow it out of proportion and he said the right things. Anyway, guys, we come to the end of another reaction video. If you're new to this channel for the very first time, please feel welcome. You're awesome, fabulous, and amazing, and I love and appreciate you guys so, so very much. Let love lead the way. I wish I had a time machine. You turn me on like a light switch.